But first at five, we begin with the mounting legal troubles for the Oklahoma Department of Education with Ryan Walters at the helm. In addition to at least seven lawsuits filed in just nine months, a small Oklahoma City school claims the board isn't allowing them a proper fight for survival and that Walters is repeatedly violating the Open Meeting Act. The same day Tulsa Public Schools kept accreditation, another small private school, Infinity Generation Preparatory, lost accreditation. Attorney Jim Johnson is appealing, claiming State Superintendent Ryan Walters and the State Board of Education are violating the law by operating outside their scope and not following administrative rules or the Open Meeting Act. I was the go-to person on open meeting and open record compliance for most of the time from 91 through 99. As a former state's attorney working under three attorneys general, Johnson says his job was to make sure agencies complied with the law. He gave open meeting training seminars and seemingly knows rules by heart. 210-1-5-1 says the board is responsible for providing um, a due process. Johnson's claims are outlined in a 54-page court document. While fighting for Infinity's accreditation, he tried to tell the board in July. My client is entitled to due process, and due process means that there is a meaningful opportunity to be heard. Things got heated in August when Walters tried to set Johnson's talk time to 10 minutes. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Mr. We Walters, what is your minutes. statutory authority to set a time limit? He doesn't have the authority to, to change the Administrative Procedures Act. He doesn't have the authority to to set time limits on hearings, especially due process hearings. Although not a client, he doesn't believe TPS got a legal hearing either. Not only that, he says it's been difficult to watch. When the state takes action and the state has the authority to take action, it's not flippant, it's not silly, it's not lighthearted. But anybody else have a question before we go? Ms. Corbett, did you have? I just want to know, can we keep the binders or do you want them back? Oh, those are yours, <laughs> okay. for sure. Those are your binders. People deserve the protection of the law. And if state agencies such as the Board of Education aren't going to take due process rights seriously, they need to be called out. Johnson said the Oklahoma County DA's office is investigating any possible criminal misconduct. We haven't independently verified that. We reached out to the State Department of Education for comment and haven't heard back.